meteorologist Dave Warren has been tracking Florence all day for us. And so, Dave, the 5 o'clock advisory just came in. Any changes? Yes, uh, we're now tropical storm. Uh, wind 70 miles an hour. The concern here, though, now is the movement only west uh, at 3 miles an hour. It's pretty much paralleled the coast, so it stayed pretty close to water. But as it continues to move into South Carolina there to get farther and farther away from the coast, so uh, it needs to move out. Uh, it's just putting a lot of rain over the same area, and the movement, unfortunately, not very fast. Saturday to Sunday is when we see it going into uh, parts of the South Carolina mate well away from the coast back over North Carolina by Monday and then Tuesday Wednesday rapidly accelerating off to the north and then off the coast there uh, by the middle of the week 7:15 a.m. that was landfall it was just to the east of Wilmington that's what it looked like on the radar there's the coastline though see how close that uh, center of the storm has stayed to the water pulling in a lot of moisture still but now it's just about to cross over that border there from North Carolina to South Carolina uh, still some very heavy bands this one is the concern here. This is still putting a lot of heavy rain leading to flash flooding right over the outer banks and then going right over New Bern area, uh, which had that uh, flooding video from earlier. So uh, the flooding concerns continue, likely seeing more flash flooding because on top of the rain that's already come down, additional uh, 12 to maybe 20 inches of rain expected. And that is over North Carolina and moving south uh, there through Wilmington and into South Carolina. So these flash flood watches and warnings, oh, they'll continue. A wind continuing to go and push that water right up into New Bern there. So uh, it's seeing record flood or near record flooding, I should say. Last the record was set uh, with Floyd, uh, but a major flooding continuing here as that wind continues out of the southeast. It's out of the west there in Myrtle Beach, but as the storm passes by, that wind direction will change and you'll see that water getting pushed up against the coast as opposed to the wind going off the coast. Uh, watching this uh, closely here, this tropical storm Isaac, it continues to move west at 14 miles an hour and the end of the track there is expected to degenerate into a wave.